rearrange this expression to make x the subject. So that means you have to have x equal something. You must show you're working. Uh, so what I'd do here is I'd first of all just write out the expression before we start doing any manipulation. So what I'd suggest, if you think about this on the right hand side, you've got 3x plus 5 all divided by 5. Um, and the opposite of divide by 5 is times by 5. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. So I'm going to do 5 times on that side and 5 times on that side. So on the left hand side I'll end up with 5y. Now, 5 times something divided by 5, these 5s are going to cancel out because 5 over 5 is 1. So I'm left with 3x plus 5. Okay, so we're getting close now. Uh, we've got a much more simple equation to work with, but we still haven't got uh, x by itself on one side of the equal sign. Um, I've got 3 times x plus 5. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides, and that should cancel out this positive 5. So on the left, I'll have 5y minus 5, and on the right, I'll have 3x plus 5 minus 5, just leaves me with 3x. So now I've got 3 times x equals this thing. So to get x by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. Now 3 over 3 means 3 divided by 3, and 3 divided by 3 is 1, so I can cancel them out, and that means I've got 1x. So I've got x, and on the right-hand side, I've got 5y minus 5 all over 3. And there's your answer.